Today I'm going to show you the fastest, easiest, cheapest way to heat up a bearing in seconds. Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. What we got ourselves into here is a minor jackpot. We're at home, we don't have the proper bearing heater, the inductive heater, to get this bearing up to temperature so that it'll fit on the shafty. So, we got a couple options. We can beat the hell out of it. Not the best option. We could try and find a torch, heat it up with a flame. Also not the best option. Because if you're anything like me, you get daydreaming about boobies or 454 barrels, bingo bango, you fry your bearing. I'm going to show you a way to perfectly heat bearings to 200 degrees every time, funny as shit, and you'll blow people's minds. So look at this guy, one of the last bearings in history made in Germany. So I definitely don't want to fuck this one up. Now if you recall, steel grows, it expands, one thou per 100 degrees Fahrenheit per inch of length. So this is, uh, we'll say that's an inch and a quarter. We'll say it's an inch. If I heat this up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the recommended maximum temperature for heating up bearings. So this is a one inch ID. We heat it up 200 degrees. This will be two thou bigger. And then it'll slide right on. Note the date, not April 1st. So you get yourself some uh, rags, you get yourself some uh, tap water, great for tapping holes. It comes in uh, hard bricks here and you gotta thaw them out before you use them, here in Canada anyway. Now down south in Guadalajara it probably comes in liquid form. Well, we got our water soaked rags, and we got our bearing. Now we swaddle up the bearing like a little baby Jeebus. Now comes the hard part. You gotta get in the kitchen without your wife catching you. There we go, 90 degrees C. One baked Alaska bearing. Let's check this out, that's six degrees. That's uh, 90 degrees C. Easy as that. And the reason this works is because when you wrap it in wet cloth, the water in the wet cloth absorbs the microwave energy and it doesn't get a chance to uh, fry the bearing. And of course, water boils at 100 degrees C, so you're never ever gonna go over 100 C unless you run out of water. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep your stick on the ice.